Now, instead of holding the bevel here and holding the light on the inside, um, we can change it by either one getting a friend or a helper to hold the light on the inside while you're holding the bevels on the outside. Uh, get a chair, a lamp, a stool, a uh, step to hold the light on the inside while you're replacing the, the bevels on the outside. Or if you're by yourself and you can't open the door up or you find it a little bit hard to open the door up, what we've done is a standard desk lamp. We have a piece of wire which is just made out of a coat hanger and we have a very good suction cap with nut on the top. So these are the areas here we're going to bond next. So I'm just going to put my suction cap up the top with my lamp down facing that area. And when I'm happy with that position, I'm going to push very tight our suction cap. And we know that it's stuck by the pattern on the outside here. We can see a very good suction here. We don't want the light falling down. So we have a very good suction mark here. So push it on nice and tight. Okay. Now, we're free to possibly do these two bevels here uh, without moving the light. Once we've done these two here, we'll go in. Because it's on glass, the suction cap will slide, and we'll just slide it up. So, putting on a very large 4-inch bevel here. Following our same procedure, we're going to coat the bottom half of the circle just letting gravity slightly squeeze in the bottle, not too hard. And I just put a little bit at the top. And we have newspaper on the floor to stop any drips hitting the tiles. Now, getting down to eye height, gently lowering the bevel onto the glass. Slowly, don't drop it on, otherwise you'll have bubbles everywhere. If you do have bubbles everywhere, just turn the light off. Get rid of the light, and then you can get rid of the bubbles. The worst case is you have to remove the actual bevel piece from the glass clean it up and do it again. So there we go, I'm right on my mark, I'm holding it as, uh, I'm holding the bevel as still as possible and it should take approximately 20 seconds at the moment but as I said sometimes it might take 30 or 40 seconds. So just holding it nice and still in the position following my pattern. Now the way we've laid out these bevels it, it's not a precise pattern so if you're out um, a little bit, it's not going to matter. Bigger bevels, of course, will take longer to cure than the smaller bevels. So this one may go over the 30 to 40 second mark, and where the smaller ones may take 10 to 15 to 20 seconds. But um, I'm holding it very still. If we move it during the curing process, we can get little rip marks in it. But um, if we hold it still, we'll be fine. Okay, I think the bevels bonded on. And it's a good idea that we remove as much of this excess adhesive as possible, making sure that remembering that that's where my next bevel is going, so we, we, um, we want to keep it really clean. Because our light's still going, it's going to cure the adhesive, or the excess adhesive will just spill out the light with the cure, keep on curing the adhesive. So just keep on cleaning after every bevel so that we don't get the excess of these going too hard. Just makes just means the cleanup will be a little bit slower. Okay, we're going to clean up now. Now you've, you'll probably see some of these as we've wiped the adhesive off, there's a little bit of a um, overcured adhesive on the outside. So just using a razor blade very carefully. I'm just going to run around the edge of the bevel with the razor blade, making sure we use a safety razor blade. And then just scrape off the excess adhesive. And making sure you put that little bit into a tissue or a rag. Because we don't want to get it all over the glass again. No, very simply. Clean it up like that. After we've done this, our next move will be to um, just get our little scouring pad, our 3M scouring pad and uh, the detergent and water and clean up the uh, excess thin adhesive which we'll show you in a second. Just using detergent and water we're just going to spray the area using our 3M delicate scour. 
We're just going to go around, around the edge of the bevel itself, across the top, and we can, what the scour is doing is actually soaking up that excess adhesive into its uh, pores, and as you're cleaning more and more adhesive off the glass, you can feel the, the uh, actual scour getting thinner and thinner. So turn it over, use the other side, and change it regularly. For a uh, for a new one, and that'll keep the will get the glass quick clean quicker. Now, what you might have to do when you do a section, say this top section like this, um, we always clean from the from the top down. After we've cleaned a, a section like this, good to get our, our tissues wipe down this section. And what this does, it just sees if we've uh, left any adhesive behind. That means we have to go back and pay some more attention to it with the scour or the razor blade. And just go down the glass and, uh, and clean it like such. You may need to do this one, two or three times depending on how good you are at cleaning it up the first time.